Jackie Chan, a martial arts master and movie superstar, starring in movies like Armor of God, Rush Hour, and The Legend of the Drunken Master. But he's not just a martial arts badass, but he's also been in something a little less well known, but still pretty cool. Now, let's be honest, any gamer knows that movie tie-in titles suck most of the time. Yeah, you got the occasional good ones like Batman for the NES, but like I said, most of the time, they bomb. But what about making a video game based on a movie superstar? Yeah, now you got something different in the form of Jackie Chan's Action Kung Fu. It was a pretty good game, actually. Damn good. It was made by Hudson Soft. How could it be bad? Same people behind Adventure Island and Mario Party. Well, let's get to the main event here. I'm Rocket Bomber Andy B, and this is Andy B Reviews, the only show where I'm Andy B and I do reviews. Here we go. So this is Jackie Chan's Action Kung Fu for the NES. I gotta tell you, the title screen's already got my attention. Jackie Chan smile away like he doesn't have a care in the world. So, the story here is that big head Jackie Chan and his cute cartoon girlfriend are just walking peacefully. Then this wizard dude shows up and zaps Jackie Chan with lightning, then takes his girlfriend away. Yeah, greatest video game story ever. So after paying his respects to his master and meditating for a few seconds, Jackie Chan's off to save his girlfriend and stop the evil wizard dude from doing whatever he's doing. Yeah. So this game's your typical cartoony side-scrolling beat-em-up game. Besides using punches and kicks, you can also gain special moves by slicing open frogs and gaining ninja kicks from their insides. That's just cool. The controls are simple and easy to learn, but very effective. Graphics are really nice and colorful. Seriously, this is some of the best 8-bit has to offer. It's right up there with Captain Skyhawk. The music is really cool and sounds like 8-bit Japanese music, which I'm sort of a sucker for. So, so far I've just been walking to the right, beating up birds and ninjas. It's pretty standard stuff for your typical Jackie Chan game, if I do say so myself. There are also bonus stages along the way, like one we're doing right now. See, we're just riding on the cloud through space, I guess, and once we get to the top, we're at the bonus stage. Now all you gotta do here is just jump on clouds, and then you'll get points. The more clouds you jump on, the more points you get. But there's still a time limit. At the end of the time, they count up all your points, and then you get items for all your points. Such as one-ups, noodles, and I think orbs? I can't remember. Yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say about the bonus games, so... Ah oh, man, this game is great. Another cool thing you can do is by holding down the attack button, you can unleash a devastating fireball. Hey, it's kind of like Street Fighter 2 The World Warrior. But wait a minute. Wasn't this game released for 1990 for the NES? Street Fighter 2 was released first on the Super Nintendo in 1991. So, does that mean that Ryu and Ken's Hadouken really came from Jackie Chan's action kung fu? Oh, it all makes sense now. No wonder it's so awesome. It's been Jackie Chanified. And I totally didn't just make up a word to prove my point there. Yay, creativity. Yeah. Anyway, back to the review. Now, although I've been seeing a lot of good things about the game so far, it's not perfect. It has one big fatal flaw that makes this game not perfect. And it's the difficulty. Now, you look at it and think, it doesn't look that hard, it's cute, charming, yeah, that's how it lures you in, and once you actually play it, it's pretty hard. There are two factors that make this game hard. One is that you only have one life. Now, yes, I know, they give you the, they have the courtesy to give you a life bar, and yes, it can be regained with, like, noodle or soup or whatever it is, but you have to remember, once the health runs out, then the game's over. But never fear, because you have continues. Unfortunately, it's only a limited amount of continues. Five to be exact. 
and once they're all used up, then it truly is game over. But the continues are surprisingly really helpful. Now, believe it or not, I'm still playing the first level, which makes it look like a pretty big level 1. But actually, the game is pretty short in reality, only a couple levels long. But to make the levels longer, each level has a few different areas. So, when you use the continue, you start back to the beginning of the area in which you died, which makes them, you know, really helpful. But only having five continues can really be annoying. But, to be honest, other than the difficulty, I don't really find any other problems about this game. It's really good. So, anyway, on to the rating. So, that was Jackie Chan's Action Kung Fu for the NES. Overall, it's a really good side-scrolling beat-em-up game with some platforming elements to make it sort of a mixed bag, it, but for the better. If you're a fan of old-school platform games like Mega Man and Super Mario Bros., check this game out. You might have a lot of fun with it. I mean, it's got the cute cartoon aspect of games like Tiny Toons Adventures, it's got some really good music, the controls are nice. I just think it's a really well-rounded package that you will enjoy if you're a retro gamer. And to be honest, I really thought this game was going to be kind of lame. I mean, you look at the title thinking, oh, yay, it's, it's about a movie actor? Yeah, no thanks, this is probably going to suck. But truly, this is one of the best never ju judge a book by its cover games I've ever played. Well, maybe second to Kirby's Epic Yarn. But anyway... That was Andy B Reviews, the only show where I'm Andy B, and I do reviews. See y'all next time. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you like my video, then don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I got a couple you can watch that's right in front of you, you know, gaming videos, and these. I got a couple segments I'm doing. It's more Andy B Reviews, you know, stuff I do. So, uh, go check them out, tell your friends about them. I could use a couple more views. The more the merrier. So, uh, yeah, and I will see you all next time. Later.